So in today's video, I'm looking at a Rod NT USB mini microphone. This particular one has got a damaged charger port on it. And I haven't come across anything that shows me how to actually disassemble one of these. I feel like these almost have to come out. That comes off and then it'll spread apart. But being it's such a fairly unique looking pattern on there, I'm not liking the chances that I could actually undo that. So I'm gonna have a bit of a pry. So yeah, that's definitely stage two, this being stage one. I feel like I've somehow loosened that up. If you have a look along here, it is now sticking up and out just a fraction. Completely killed a pair of tweezers in the process, but I should be able to get this section off now. No. I loosened it up just enough and then I tightened it back up. Good job. These tweezers aren't surviving much longer. down one pair of tweezers.
come to find another donor. The dilemma that I've got is I'm not sure which way it actually tightens. It does look like I actually uh, accidentally snapped that one, but it is at least moving me along. It's disappointing it broke, but it is some progress. Next up, I want to get this rubber grommet off. Out of the way. Now I want to get this plastic off. Finger. So that's been removed in one piece. Potentially you don't have to actually remove this to be able to remove the cover. As we see, I'll leave that section alone for now. Proceed with down here and remove this big massive lead weight. this board. As we can see in here, skeptical as to why it's snagging. I'm trying to get this out. Hmm, there we go, that's why. On the side here we had three cables. Running down to the dial, I'm assuming. Other than that, I'm not sure where this was actually going, which is very strange. But anyway, we'll proceed. And there is one faulty Type C. Okay, that explains it. Pot. It would be going down to the volume headphone controls. Which means there will be some rewiring going on at some stage.
go. And we have some more lead at the front here. We have the pot. Uh, closer inspection. Straight down to here, which I'd say if this button comes off, we can remove the pot from there. And I can rewire in from there. Excellent. But my cause of concern right now is securing the type C, which is here. I'm going to turn that. So if you do go to remove it, make sure you remove the, the pot from the front before you go to remove the main board itself. Anyway, this should be a pretty easy fix for me. And while I'm at it, I'm gonna replace the broken type C port. So a few tips I would use on this one, or at least if you don't have access to the proprietary tool to unlock it, you should be able to put a flathead screwdriver through here, pop that off, same with the rear, just gotta spin it to the corresponding side. The next dilemma that I've got is the reassembly process, which will be a lot harder now. But, if you can get to this stage, hopefully you can repair your device and go from there. So this is an extremely rough teardown of the Rod NT-USB Mini. I'll catch you guys in another video. Bye.